Hello guys, good day to you. Welcome to this new video. I'm Adam from Millhead Games and today we're going to see a big news. This came last night. I was too tired to make a video about it, but this morning I say I'm going to make it because this needs to be known by all the community. Actually, it's an awesome news. It's a great news. It's fantastic. And I didn't expect this to happen, but actually it happened. Do you remember that company, the W4 Games? I made a video about them a few weeks ago. Well, those guys apparently raised 8.5 Five million dollars to support Godot engine growth. Now, like I was saying, W4 Games rises 8.5 million to support Godot engine growth, and that's pretty interesting, pretty great, and awesome. Things are moving things are moving great. This money came from some companies, actually. Not everything came just from one company. There are different actors right now working with W4 Games, investing on them. And one of those is OSS Capital. There's another company here. We can find this name, Lux Capital as well. And we can find another industry veteran, Bob Young, that was helping in all this. And Another thing that joined the war <laughs> actually is Sisu Games Ventures. Actually, if you go and watch each of those guys, those companies, well, you'll find that they are quite small, you know. We are talking about billions here. <laughs> If we go on the OSS company, they're investing on a future with open software and open source is eating software itself much faster than software is eating the world. And that's a great way to say it because open source is out there and there are billions of, you know, of projects. One billion people is creating open source. They are watching the future from a very interesting point of view and they're investing on technology that is being created open source. Another big name here is probably Lux Capital. Now, if you go and watch what Lux Capital is doing, I think that you should just go and give a, a look to their side because those projects are pretty awesome. Look at this. They're investing in emerging science and technology ventures. Now, if you go and watch the, their projects in which they are investing and putting their money, well, you'll see that they are different, actually. You go from how to technology about you know controlling video games and vr and haptics and all that stuff there and 3d printing 3d uh photogrammery they are investing in very interesting searches and new technologies that are coming for the future and they're going to change our future as well and one of those technologies is actually godot engine and w4 games let, let let's go and see bob young who is this guy is well known in the industry because he founded the red hat and if you go and see what Red Hat is. Actually, it's an American IBM software company. If you go and see how much money IBM wanted to invest to acquire this company, well, in 2018, they just wanted to acquire them for $34 billion. And that's huge. And if you go here, there are a few numbers here, right here. You can see them. They're pretty interesting. There are a couple of billions here and there. They're doing great. <laughs> and last but not least is obviously Sisu Games Venture. The, those guys are are not just investor they, they literally say that we are veteran game developers helping other developers realizing their dreams i mean they're investing on video game and that's great actually because this is more a focused thing and definitely is going to help the growth of, of the industry of godot in the industry this news is so exciting guys because here we go and see here all this funding is going is going to be invested in new technologies or obviously that is going to be developed by w games it's going they're going to mod and they're going to create new stuff for godot engine but actually all of this technology that is going to be uh, implemented in godot is going to come it's going to come as an open source for godot we may have some pretty interesting stuff right now i think that godot 5 is going to be a thing right now i think that godot 5 i repeat it i think that godot 5 is going to be a thing we don't have yet an official release of godot 4 a stable one but godot 5 is going to be in the pipeline it looks like that to me this might be something like blender did with the 3d industry they are becoming more and more a standard in the industry godot might be the engine to go for a lot of future game developers the company will present okay guys this was the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you are excited as i am because i'm very excited and definitely godot three is going to be here it's going to be improved god of war is going to be there because it's going to come and it's going to be great as well new technologies new plugins 
hopefully are going to come to improve our experience from this company obviously they're going to provide that because they have the funding right now and definitely this is going to be the company that i might use i might go for if i want to export my game for other platforms actually because they're doing great stuff and probably their pricing is going to be great as well because they want godot to be a standard industry right now probably godot 5 is going to come as well we need to to wait for you know 2023 is just a couple of months from now but and we'll have some news about what they're going to do actually specifically uh with their roadmap okay guys if you made it this far please check my slime and sliders it's out on android i really need some help on making it grow and basically i need feedback as well because i don't have that much data of people playing it and i don't know if there are bugs actually if everything is working it's working on my machine but i don't know if it's working on other you know platform and other devices so please check it it's on android and rate it i really thank you for that last but not least leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my of my future videos and i'm andrew from yellowhead games and more important keep devin games